guys, this week I'm on my channel, and today I'm going to review be reviewing the Kevin the Carrot plush toys and I just got them today so first we're going to be reviewing the party hat set with um the Kevin family so first off we start off with Kevin the Carrot and um I kind of like this one I mean it's got his classic jumper and I like his Christmas hat too that they got from the Christmas crackers and um he's also got his classic leaves too so yeah it's just classic Kevin I'd rate this one 7 out of 10. Then we've got the Katie the Carrot, who's, um, her tag. And, um, she's got a white jumper, different to her other jumper, and um, from two years ago. And, um, she's got a different coloured, um, uh, hat to Kevin, a uh, purple hat. And her classic leaves. The only thing I will say, though, is that I feel like her head is a bit, larger than usual because it's normally the same size as like kevin's but apart from that it's all right i rate this one a six out of ten and next we've got the children i'm gonna rate them individually so um first we've got i think his name is jason and he's got a yellow christmas hat he doesn't have a tag because all three of them came in a box so he's got a red christmas jumper they all have red christmas jumpers but um yeah it's just like the, it's the same as in all the years except i kind of like this one because oh, obviously my favorite color is yellow so same as kevin seven out of ten then we have um chantelle is it um she's got a pink christmas hat um it leaves the same red as um jason but at the same time I, I don't know if I'm happy or sad that they all have their matching Christmas jumpers. I, I think it's okay, though. So I'll, I'll rate it a 7. And um, here we've got Baby. He's got his three leaves at his the top, a red Christmas hat, and the same jumper. So I, I might just rate him a 7 too. Now let's move on to the new set. So we've got Pilot Kevin. Um, I really like this one, and there's one main reason for it, because I just discovered huge detail. I'm going to pull up his hat, and you see that green thing there? That's his leaf, because, um, his leaf is bent down, so you can feel it there, and you can, I can feel it here, and the, uh, the hat is made from a really nice material, I don't really know what it is though. But the, the thing is, his arms are a bit long, as you can see on camera. But, um, I, I'm, I, I really like this one. I'm going to rate it out, um, 8 out of 10. Um, next, let's go with ha Harry the Hedgehog. Harry the Hedgehog, there he is. Um, well, there's not really much to say about this one. I mean, it's got this nice red scarf on it, which I do like. Um, I like its tiny arms and legs. And then it's got its really fluffy back that really makes it look like a prickly back. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like this one. So I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Um, let's go with the turkey. We've got Wingman Turkey. He does not have a tag. So, let's just, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is the best one out of all of them, in my opinion. Wingman Turkey, he's got so much detail, especially around the face, coming from this really tiny helmet to his blue face with an orange beak. And then, I don't know what these are called. But yeah, you can make him even look like he has a moustache. And then he is, um, hail, if you might want to call him that, is also made from material. I don't know what it's made from. I can't tell. And then he's also got some orange feet. So, yeah, a very detailed, um, plush. I would say one of the, the detailed, um, the most detailed. The character with the most detail. Um, so I'm going to rate this one a nine. Oh, actually, I'm going to rate this one a solid 10. I really like that. Um, right, 
second last great grandma um well there's also a lot of detail being put into this one as well for starters let's just grab a normal kevin i i think you can see the difference i mean one th this is shorter and um it's, it's it's a bit larger than the others, if you see. Also, she's got this nice handbag that you can also see in the picture too. And I did not notice it at all in the advert to show the plushies. And then it, she's also got these really nice glasses. And I really like this one because they could have really just gone, let's just take this Katie design, slap it on here, give it some glasses, give it an afro, make it a bit shorter, make it a bit wider, and then it's done. But you can see that Katie's eyes are wide open and hers are not. And she's also got different um, eyelashes, eyebrows, you can say. Um, so yeah, it's very detailed because they had to make a new character for this. And then the afro, <laughs> where do I start? It's very fluffy. It's almost the same, I would say, as the back of the hedgehog. And, of course, it's green like the carrot, so I'm going to rate this one a 9 out of 10. And now, here's the last one. Last not but least. Last not but least. Last but not least. I keep on stumbling on my words today. We have Great Grandpa. Well, Great Grandad. Great Grandad. Um, well... I don't know what to say about this one. I mean, he 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 has a mustache. That's that's what I'm trying to say. He has a mustache. That he's he's basically Kevin in disguise to be honest. The thing is though, I really like this one because I like its hair and all. But it's not the same as the granny because with the granny I said they could have just slapped a Katie design on it and gave it glasses and all, and it would be done, but they didn't. But with this one, I don't know how to say it, but I feel like they did just make it a bit skinnier and slap a mustache on it, give it a bit of hair by just snipping that off, and they've got a great granddad, so... Yeah, it's not the same as the great grand the grandma, but at the same time, it does have its great stuff. I mean, who would have expected a Kevin the Carrot plushie to have a mustache? And um, its hair is also quite nice, I would say. But the thing is, um, even though I do like its hair and its mustache is also nice, I'm going to rate this one a solid six out of ten and that might seem as strict and all but hmm so basically overall the the winner the winner and the loser the winner is the turkey with the highest score of 10 out of 10 and then the grandpa is the lowest with 6 out of 10 I think yeah so um yeah we've got 7 out of 10 I think Seven, seven, seven. Um, I think I gave this one seven. Um, um, I gave him. I might have gave him an eight. I don't know. Oh, Grandma, I gave her a solid nine. I think. Yeah, nine. And then him. I can't remember what I gave him. I probably gave him a seven. Well, I don't really know, but overall. I would say, even if I didn't, I didn't, he was in the lowest score, I would say that he is, sadly, the worst one out overall, and he is still a great character, but over, uh, 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 actually, I mean, both of the grandma and grandpa didn't really appear in the ad for much, but it doesn't really matter anyway, but, I mean, his design is nice, but I feel like he needed a bit more detail, whereas the turkey... It's brand new, it's got all its detail, and it's just what you would expect, really. So, yeah, the turkey's definitely my favourite. 
So comment down below, who do you think was your favourite? Maybe it's Wingman Take, like me, maybe Kevin, or maybe just one of the party hat ones. Or maybe even different ones, a different one, like the Kevin and the Kill, or one of the tree decorations, which I bought two of. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications. And I'll see you next time. Go for gold, guys. Bye!